ESU women's basketball, they have been on an absolute tear as of late, but as the 2014 ASU football team would tell you, streaks go to die in Corvallis. The Sun Devils experienced their first loss in 15 games to the Oregon State Beavers Monday night and now share the top spot in the Pac-12. Is there a reason for concern when a hot team turns ice cold? For that, we have women's basketball beat writer Bailey O'Carroll. Thanks for joining us, Bailey. Obviously, that game was probably tough for the Sun Devils winning 15 in a row. Is there cause for concern after a loss like that one? You know, I don't think so. The Sun Devils came out hot. Sophie Bruner started out five for five from the field. They started to slow things down as the first half came to an end and then went into halftime only down by two points and then they kind of lost control in the second half. They uh, failed to kind of control Oregon State's three-headed monster, if you will, uh, with Jamie, uh, Ruth, and uh, uh, so Sydney, excuse me. You know, and they allowed them to shoot 73% from the field combined, and they also had ASU's worst offensive performance of the season. I, having said that, I don't think they could have gotten it done. Now, one of those offensive keys that we've talked about before quite a bit is Katie Hempen, and she's been a staple to this program for a really long time. Uh, she's a monster beyond the arc, but she's kind of gone cold as of late. So uh, what kind of concerns, if any, are with Katie Hempen? Yeah, she went 0 of 9 from the field against Oregon State. She was scoreless. That was obviously a big reason kind of why they lost also. But, you know, I think she's had a changing role on, on this team this season. She went from more of a shoot first guard last season to a pass first guard this season. Again, I don't think that there's any re like reason to have concern over her. She's experienced, so she's going to keep shooting and get out of that slump. Now this weekend, they're going to face UCLA tonight. They're going to face USC on Sunday. Obviously, that, that loss has got to hurt their ego a little bit when you go on a run like that. So how do they bounce back this weekend? I think that they'll be fine this weekend. Uh, again, they're coming off that road trip at Oregon, going to be back home this weekend. They have UCLA tonight, like you said, in USC on Sunday. I think that they're going to return to that 15 win game game streak that we saw that team last week and I don't think there's any room for concern. All right, thank you so much, Bailey. You can check out her work on CronkiteSports.com and be sure to join Cronkite Sports on Pac-12 Digital Sunday as the Sun Devils host USC at 2. You can find that game at Pac-12.com.